All right, Jason Nappy joins us with your forecast. We saw Ian Baldridge live there at Hadlock. Mm. Perfect night for some baseball. Beautiful. Yeah. I'm trying to think, how do we fit like a week or two's activities mm. into, into today, cu today yeah. a couple, <laughs> a couple <laughs> days, yeah. right? That's the challenge because uh, next week doesn't look good, but we'll get to that. Right now, a lot of sun, uh, some clouds up north. That Actually, I'm going to call that spot there in Bangor out. That is an old image. There are no clouds. So that needs to be updated at some point through the basically the, the backdrop of the, or behind the scenes look here if we can do that. Dense fog tonight. Clouds increase along the coast. Scattered showers and thunderstorms this weekend on and off. Don't cancel plans just yet. Humidity rising. Dew points are going to be well into the 60s and make a run for 70 plus. Temperatures currently notice here along the coast. You have the 60s on shore flow. That's the sea breeze. Inland 70s and 80s. So are people asking me last night at dinner what happened to 80s? Well, they're up north, right? That's where you got that nice breeze coming in from the southwest. That's where the heat is not so much along the coastline because of the sea breeze. It's a little sticky here. Some yellows popping up. Presque Isle down towards Bangor. It'll get a lot stickier in the next few days. Visible satellites all clear, as you see there. It is warm to borderline hot up in the county, but the real hot stuff is out in the Great Lakes, and that's not really going to get here. The warm front to our south, that's the key to getting the humidity here, not so much a lot of heat. Hour by hour this evening, if you're headed out for dinner, it's perfect. If you're mowing the lawn to get ahead of the weekend and next week, also perfect. Here comes what the model is picking up on dense fog along the coastline. Starting tonight, probably a little earlier than it did last night, but notice the cloud shield seven morning, seven in the morning Friday. This stays just off the coast Friday, so things are looking a lot better on Friday than they did yesterday at this time with sun giving way to clouds eventually. But humidity, that's something we cannot just take out of the forecast. That's coming here, especially for the weekend. We're going to get quite humid. It's the first real time we're going to have widespread dew points. 60 plus, 65 plus, and how about 70? This is Saturday afternoon. Dew points in the 70s for us in Maine, that kind of feels a little bit like tropical. That's how humid it's going to be this weekend. So if you're not a fan, if you have an air conditioner, it's not in the window yet, that goes in. If you have the heat pump, you're switching it over to the dehumidifier. If you have that option, it's amazing. Love it. Seas at two feet, uh, wind southeast. 5 to 10 knots tomorrow. The next three days, I'm going to put increasing clouds tomorrow. I'm not going to go full on cloudy. Also have the rain holding off until Saturday on and off showers, thunderstorms into Sunday, where it's still going to be warm, especially when the sun comes out for a couple minutes and it's going to be incredibly humid. So you're seeing the forecast here inland. It doesn't look a lot like summer, but I can tell you right now it is going to feel like summer just based on one thing. I already gave it away, the humidity. Right. So uh, if, and then there are people that like that humid feel. I don't know a lot of them in Maine, but there are people <laughs> that like that summer feel to the air. You can go outside. It's very tropical. It's going to be a terrible for hair days, but that's all I can promise. Ugh, At least yep. it's the weekend. Yeah. That's it's, okay. Your hair doesn't have to be perfect on the weekend. <laughs> there you go. That's all right. You're Jason, okay. thank you.